Hello everybody. Hello and welcome to today's stream. I'm gonna paint this wall here. It's a very small space, very small wall. Um, so my husband wants me to, wants a mural over here because of uh, a carnival mural. There's a cabinet of curiosities over the here. Maybe I'll give you a, let me give you a quick tour. It is quite fun and it gives me the chance to take out my, my handy dandy camera here. All right. Ah, the doom of cables. Hang on. So here you can see I have another uh, door mural. It's a bookcase. And here I have, we have all sorts of creepy things. Ah, there's a T-Rex mask up there. That's what's reflecting. There's a ship. All sorts of weird things that you can only see in a cabinet of curiosities. Eventually we'll put up some some lights. Tea, tea party down there. Masks. Do you see the masks? All these are 3D printed. Well this one actually we got from uh, the Halloween store. There's a cool mask in there. There's the test de resistance. That's an awesome mask. You see a Rorschach mask over there. And what's in there? Oh, a skull clock. And we have our Mexican Day of the Dead skulls. Dia de los Muertos and Lucy. All right, so <clears throat> then we're gonna have a carnival mural over here. All right, so let me get all set up. Plug this baby back in. Gotta say, uh, we we upgraded our tech and have an awesome video camera. Like one, it's got some amazing features. It's got some amazing features um, that I can unplug the cable, the power cable, and I can it still stays on. have to take it out of the the tripod to change the memory card all right so uh, I have a few reference photos um, hey Rob hey welcome let me show you some of my reference photos here I didn't post them because you know I don't think they're like copyright <laughs> safe but since I'm using several of them it's like a collage, it's not really stealing, you know? So I want to have some of these pre... <laughs> Lewis! Hey, Lewis. All right, we're gonna figure out how to have Lewis on the stream. This will be fun. Hey Laura. Hey Lewis. Oh good, I can hear you. Good, good, good. I'm gonna turn you off a little bit. Alright, let me know when you go live. Say so something. I, can... I say something. You hear me? Mm. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Good, excellent. Um, is there any let's see, do you have a you know, see if I can turn you off anymore? 
I think I can actually. Give me a sec. I might have to do with this. Okay, say something now. I say something now. Oh, it didn't hear me. This cord is being. Can you hear me? Yeah. Say something again. On and off for me. Can you hear me? This cord has been uh, very crackly. Crackly. Hmm. I, I don't think that it's uh, detecting continuously. I think it's going on and off. Oh, it is? Okay, one second. Let me, um, I'm going to hop back on the phone really quick, okay? So I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Can you hear? <laughs> I don't know where to listen. I'm listening to the. Should I listen in Discord or on the phone? What? All right, I'm testing, I'm testing, I'm testing. Now I hear you through Discord. fun day. I'll see when Lewis goes live. Okay, what was I gonna do? Ah, to show you uh, Rapid's photos. This is the one with the curtains. And then this is the one with the tent. I'm just taking bits and pieces from each one. Probably not really going to do it exactly the same, you know, it's just reference. Alright, so I'm gonna start by sketching sketching the design on the wall. Can you hear me Louis? Cause uh I cannot hear you. I can hear my iPhone. Can you hear me now? Wait, you did what now? You can, okay, and you can hear me in Discord? Okay, say something in Discord for me just to make sure. Uh, okay. Now, I there need a microphone. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just hung up uh, the phone call, sorry. Got it. I think we got it. Right, awesome. <laughs> cool. Got it. All right, I'm gonna get live then. I think. Awesome. Sure. And then I can uh, then I can put your window on. Yeah. Yeah. This, and then I'm gonna put yours up there. That. I think. Now. I think we got it. I think we got it. There we go. Let me uh, notify the peasants. Of a very woman. <laughs> yes, peasants. 
cool. Look at you having my picture up and me having your picture up. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. We're, uh, evolving, <laughs> being smarter at oh. everyone. <laughs> Rob uh, is on. Um, Sam is saying we need to learn how to stream yard. <laughs> Hello. All right. Cool. All right. Let me start the sketch. So, how are you doing, Louis? Doing great. Doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing, you know, great. Of course. Like, is there Three. an alternative? Yeah, you could be doing horrible. Yeah. Life sucks. Superior people like us can can deal with life's vicissitudes without complaining like them. I do not know that word. <laughs> vicissitudes. Vicissitudes. Uh, have uh, you now watched V for Vendetta? I have watched it. Actually, then you should know before. all of the V words. Oh yeah, that's right. He went on a spiel, did he not? Where's my phone? Dude, my... What are you doing? Looks pretty cool. I'm uh, sketching some curtains. All right, cool. For my carnival mural, Sam's uh, uh, request. We have a very freaky uh, cabinet of curiosities here where all our weird things lie, lay, and uh, we need a carnival. What's up, tagging? And he's saying it louder. <laughs> you guys come to my chat. Make sure you also have her up at the same time. We have it's. This is a strange setup. We have. Um, we're not doing. We're not streaming the same stream, but we've kind of linked. You know, I have a, a screen to her stream, and then we're both in Discord together. So they're separate, but one. If that makes sense. I do this. It's a little bit better, maybe, but when I back up, that pulls on this. It's nice. You have uh, you have tagging on your stream, and I have Rob on my yeah. stream. It's funny. <laughs> I know technology, man. He says, I'm telling you, uh, tagging louder. If y'all saw my uh, computer, literally every single, almost every single jack in it has something in it. It's like gonna blow up. I, I have I, like every every single one, and it's a laptop. I'm streaming off a laptop, which probably the only person who streams off a laptop. What is happening? I said I have you know like to my setup. Mm -hmm. I have so many things plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> I have every single jack on the computer plugged into it. Yeah. And like it has something plugged in, and then I also have a four slot usb extender plugged in so it's like four extra usbs which it's insane and i need all of them to work perfectly which is why probably i have so many issues on the stream uh you know technological issues rather mm, too much that out some it's actually not that far off the mouth just is not right so you're working on your uh, creepy woman Yes. Today yes, I was I looking at your uh, at the reference photo, and I yeah. realized why she's so bitter and and disdainful. <laughs> why is that? Because she's naked. <laughs> she's. Uh, I think that actually makes her the opposite of that. I don't know, man. She looked yeah, a man. bit mm, a bit resentful. <laughs> Be resentful. <laughs> she looked a bit yeah. resentful. Ah, uh, they just want me for my body. I know. Why can't I pose with a polo shirt on? We're like, I'm not getting paid enough for this shit. <laughs> she gets paid. Yeah, I'm sure she gets she paid does. in the satisfaction that she's helping out a really good person. Yeah. Yeah. The best superior artist. <sighs> the blocking sketch. I hate sketching. The design it's like the worst but 
like you always say, a good sketch makes for a good bones for the painting, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly those words. A good bones for the painting. A good bone. You need good a good bones. bone. You always have to bone the painting. You That's a uh, rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. Live by that. Yep. There we go. Um, so, how much do miles get paid? Tag in is uh, I pay twenty five dollars an hour uh, for nudes. So yeah, and I might pay like to sit for a portrait, maybe about twenty. A little bit less. The 25 for like an hour just staying there, and if you consider the sessions um, like two to three hours, so that's 50 to 75 dollars an hour for standing. Which, you know, it's, it's some work, but it's not nothing. So I don't know the translation. In fact, I don't even know your currency over in Kosovo. So I'm not sure what that translates to for you guys, but it's it's some good money. That's how much I pay. People pay different. I think you the euro. So it would. I don't remember the conversion rate for that. It's constantly changing. But. Mm, so where do you fun. find the models? I was wondering. Uh, so normally it really depends, uh, but um, like models, no other models, and so. Uh, we I advertise at Wake Forest and also the School of Arts. We ha we live in a college town, but um, ever since COVID, like people have been freaked out, partially because the teachers like are freaking the students out. But I don't think the students care as much. But sometimes it, it like before it was hard to get into the schools because they would be like, it was just like everything's locked down, and and they kind of continued that on for a longer period of time than I think they should have. Mm -hmm. kind of past past the time like when everybody in fact opened up they were still like pushing that shit so um i would get those models uh from those schools but we've had a hard time getting them because of what i just said but things are starting to open up now so we're hoping to get more mm -hmm. uh <clears throat> harry what's up buddy uh you guys get paid for the model of the florence academy uh, wait, did you guys pay for the model at Florence Academy? No, like the tuition covers the regular models at the Academy at when I was there. That might have changed up now, but <clears throat> if you wanted to do a portrait, you would, I think you would pay that. You would pay that fee. All right. So like if it was an individual project where you're working with, normally you're working with another person. So one on one side, one on the other side, whoever you're sh sharing the studio with at the time, uh, every studio would have four people in it. But two of those people were working in the model room while you were in there in the morning, in the afternoon, um, they would be in there while you're in the model room. So it's switch it up. So you'd always have a studio partner that you're with. Mm. And so we would, it would make more sense to come up with a project together and split it. That's why in the photos on Instagram, you see one guy on one side, one guy on the other side. So you just split the cost. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that bad. I don't remember how much we paid though then. Um, oh, nice, Harry. Yeah, Rob wanted me Here. to tell you something. He said, oh, cool. uh, <laughs> can you tell Lewis I tried to draw the full figure and it went terrible. I used straight lines, but on the third line, I didn't know where to place it. <laughs> That's it's good that you just keep on putting yourself in that situation, man. That's the way to do it. Um, and Taggy and don't get a big head, but Taggy is doing it the right way because he um, <clears throat> is not yet at a solid school, but he's putting himself into this teaching. So I think he can help you out a whole lot. Rob, you should be talking to Tagian because he he has um, a better strategy probably of learning on his own. Uh, like I didn't learn on my own. I, I went to school and but it was also a different environment back when I was studying. Like if I had all this stuff, I'd be doing the same thing Tagian was doing. Um, 
so that's i'm really glad he's doing that and um and can you work on individual projects as well at the school yeah you do um but 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 that's in the um that's in the third sec end of the second third beginning of third year you start doing that stuff before then i think they're kind of <clears throat> the individual projects are like your bar drawings or your your uh, cast drawings which they make you choose right um Tegan told Rob to keep on torturing himself. <laughs> Good advice. Yeah. Right. I need to get my head in this. I'm gonna put my stream on my phone so that I can see the reference photo on my laptop. On your laptop, yeah. Yeah, my laptop was doing some sort of weird things. It's not a, it's a Chromebook. Uh huh. <laughs> if I could tell yeah. anyone, don't get a Chromebook. Um, don't get a Chromebook. You don't oh, like the Chromebooks. Queldar is on. Hello, Queldar. Queldar is. Anime Maximus. mural. It's um, it's a carnival mural. You guys can hear Lewis, right, on my stream, Rob. Welder, right, Sam? you guys can hear me I on the stream. So. It, Louder's asking you, and and my stream. Can you guys hear Louder, Taggy, and uh, Harry? Shades of mediocrity. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Shades of mediocrity. That's a good one. Taking, what do you mean? What are the advanced uh, drawing students and advanced painting students? What, what do you mean by that? Oh, her audio is good. Good. They can hear you. Unfortunately, awesome. they can hear you, Laura. Oh, great. <laughs> Unfortunately, they can hear you, too. <laughs> <laughs> On my stream, too. I said it first, so you can't use that against me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Merman. Making me look bad. <laughs> Merman. Okay. I need to stop painting like a freaking idiot right now. I need to get this back, man. I'm always saying that. I'm always saying I need to get back to practice, and it's true. My foot literally is coming this far away from hitting my camera leg over. That's a very poor setup. And it's the second day I've had this. I didn't even move it. I should have moved it before it started. I could still do it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to complain about it. That's the way to do it. that's what I do. Huh? Yeah. That's the manly way to do it. Yeah. Manly ways to complain about everything. Everything. All the time. Uh, it's there because... I'm trying to get the, the, the camera as straight on as I can because the first stream it was like my face looked thin. I was like, that looks horrible. Your face? Uh, the face of what I'm drawing, you know, when you put the camera to the side. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? right. And it just like, yeah, it's a foreshortening. Right, right. This is probably going to be too light. Nope. That actually is. Well, that was actually a little bit too light. Give me a loud here, louder. Sam, I really like the uh, that picture, the dark picture. I really love that multi multi tent. So I'm gonna do that, if you don't mind. <laughs> Which, what what dark picture are you talking about? Uh, Sam left me some reference photos today. He actually did oh, a cool. little bit of mock up in Photoshop for me, because oh, I nice. sometimes I just can't visualize what what he wants, you know. And for yeah. for regular clients, I would be like. I would say, well, I'll just make them a sketch. And regular clients right. generally aren't as discernible as Sam is. He kind of knows what he wants. You know, regular people, oh, yeah. they're just like, whatever you do is great. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. Not always. <laughs> I've had some interesting experiences lately. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's better well, when he knows what he wants. So, Tegan just said... They mention on the Florence Academy page, uh, when they post a student work, they tag the name and the program that he is in, whether he is in painting or drawing year, and they they divide beginner, intermediate, and advanced students. And so you're saying, what is that? Um, okay, the 
from the time that I was there, like intermediate. Okay, so beginner is obviously in the beginning. You're just doing the bar drawings. Um, you're just drawing essentially. Intermediate is is the um, you're you're you have a grasp on drawing and you're probably starting painting. Advanced students, they've been painting probably for about a year and their their paintings are now starting to look like intermediate students' drawings. Does that make sense? So they have a solid grasp on painting. So those those would that's my guess of how they define it, yeah. With me, I was in the beginner stage for like a year and a half or two years. <laughs> <laughs> I had to learn it. I had to learn it, right? Well, let me tell you how I learn and Laura, I, I, this might actually, I, I don't know if this applies to you or not, but um, when I, this happens in anything and everything, like it happens in sports, it happens in like, if I'm learning how to play a new game, if I'm in drawing and painting, and sometimes in painting, I'll get worse. I normally, when I'm learning, I, I try, I take in everything and I really try to do everything they say without, I, I fight trying to take shortcuts. I think everybody does, but I really fight it. And what happens is I normally will get worse for a while and, and until there's a point where I get bad and I literally think like, <clears throat> I think that I'm retarded. <laughs> I thought after the first year of the academy that I, I was, I suffered brain damage. That's what I thought. And, um, but then like I'll rest and then I'll come back and then I shoot up. Mm -hmm. that's how I learned that's what happened at the academy and that's why I got so discouraged um, was because I thought that I just didn't have the capability I didn't I was not aware that I learned that way so um, somewhere between the second and third year things started clicking and I started shooting up some mm -hmm. which was interesting but the end of the second year it was just it was tough yeah. So some people like everybody learns a little bit differently, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, with me, it took me a while to uh, have this stuff kind of sink in because I was I was trying to do everything that they said to do. Like one of my things when I paint, I, I don't sit here and like work on a small area and just kind of like twirl the brush and really like turn the form and make it look pretty from the start because it hurts to see it um blocky yeah what i'll do i'll try to think about the color the you know the brush stroke and i'll try to put a brush stroke in and make it look good from back here and it's hard because sometimes it looks chunky from up close and then i'll, I'll also be trying to think of like how i want to build the paint there's a lot of things i'm juggling and they're hard to do and i kind of push myself into that which i think in the end is going to have benefit because like I'm always improving mm -hmm. as long as I'm practicing, but like trying to do things the right way will slow you down and it will make you think that you suck. And sometimes it is you suck and you just need to practice it, which was what happened with me. Yeah. Well, Rob is asking, how do I prep the wall? Is it primed with chalk paint? It's not primed with chalk paint. It's it's a painted wall. I painted with latex paint previously, actually many times. I had different murals here, but it's just you know oh, latex paint and or or mural paint. But if you have a bare wall like a plain unpainted wall, then you would prime it with regular regular primer, you know, like wall primer. Is that going to be like a castle? What are you doing? It's a, a carnival. Louis, have you not been paying attention? God. I never pay attention to you. I always look with women. Women never have anything important to say. I'm a man. I'm very intelligent. Uh, I have more to do with my time. Which, which I, I would know fold. if I would pay attention to you. <laughs> I, you can't say that. I already said that. I, I said it first. <laughs> God, don't make me laugh when I'm drinking. You're supposed to laugh when you drink. What are you drinking? Tea? You should be drinking alcohol at this. It's already 1230. We're in the afternoon. It's Friday. You're supposed to be wasted at this point. I'm so disappointed in you. I gotta be sober when I talk to you. Otherwise, I don't know. 
otherwise I might feel things. No, I wouldn't feel things when I drink. I don't know. It's too early. That's the reason. I just can't do like I used to could, you know? Like Gives you me the shit to could. time. <laughs> you Romanians in your crazy English grammar. Have I you not watched could. Dead Man? Dead Man, man. Dead Man. You know with, what? With a... I'm making... F no. What? I haven't seen that. <laughs> Johnny Depp. <laughs> When they're talking about beans or no, they're talking about whiskey. They're passing each other around. There's this bunch of hillbillies, rednecks, you know, they're, yeah. they're passing around whiskey and one of them says, thanks, I, I just can't drink like I used to could. Gives me you the shits oh, every time, don't you know? You meant to do that. You meant to do that. I did. I and mean, then I, t I took the low road of making fun of you, even though I can't speak a, a word of uh, Romanian. Right. Always take the low road, Lara. Always. Um, Tagging said, I see that the Academy is a little weak on producing finished graphite drawings and portrait drawings. I think it's because the program is set to produce painters that have painterly qualities like Sargent style. I think you're right. I think probably the Angel Academy is, is better at going through and really refining. However, I have seen some solid um, finished graphite drawings. I'm more inclined to think that they just don't post them because when I was there we had a gallery and I would also see students finish pieces and oftentimes they were very well um, like finished or whatever and I don't know why they're just not posting but again I was there about 20 years ago which is too long 20 no I was there less than 20 years ago I was there 15 years ago and you can't oh years ago. ago ago right not for 15 years. <laughs> no, not for 15 years. Of... <laughs> All right, I need to work faster than I do here with this stuff. Let's, I'm, I might sacrifice a little quality just to speed this up some, because uh, I think I paint too slowly for streams, to be honest with you. But anyway, yeah. I thought I, we weren't I, I gonna stress that. each other, Louis. I thought this was just for fun, you know, just relaxing. Relax. Yeah. And the other thing tag in, like okay so like a finished drawing i see what you're saying like it's not like tight and they want to be sergeant-esque but also you can have a finished drawing that is sergeant-esque it has solid form to it oftentimes i think like with the angel academy at the time and this is very broadly speaking i kind of looked and i saw the form too modeled and it was like they lost some of the form like if you're doing a uh, arm or something it would look too smooth on the inside it was very refined they really you know but it didn't have individual shapes that could be seen right so you can still refine a drawing and make it start your task so i think we're talking about like working the drawing up you're right like for the most part they were pushing it towards painting it's not something that necessarily when i was there they always stress but i did see a lot of people doing it teachers and students it's just not promoted as much i think they should i think they should i think i in fact I think it would actually push the painting along further. Like I'm all for doing that. Um, but I have to say too, three years is a compression of what the actual eight year course is. It's supposed to be eight. So it's compressed. So it could be that there's not enough time. A better quality and figure drawing. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. There's a lot of schools like they push it further than that. There's a lot of very good schools out there. I agree. Rob says correct. he's no. going to have some amaretto right now. Good. <laughs> We're creating alcoholics one poor soul at a time. That's what we do here. Well, you know, it's a little later in, in Europe. Hey. <laughs> it's whatever. It's whatever, man. It's whatever. Keeps you alive. So I actually don't have a plan for what goes here lower, so I'm just gonna start painting above, and then I'll come up with a with a. Design. Hey, Laura. Yes. Where are you painting? Like a castle or something? Oh my God! Yes, Louis. I'm I'm painting a princess's castle. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. From Disney, you know. You know Disney? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, I zoned out. You know you English? More than... No, I do know the English. The language? 
but when women speak i have a three sentence tolerance and then after the third fourth sentence it's a safety mechanism where i just your brain shuts you know, off it shuts off to save the waste space that otherwise that fourth sentence would take does that make sense right and what do you uh, fill that space <laughs> pray huh enlighten me what do you fill the fill the space with um i fill it with very deep thoughts mm -hmm. of stuff right <laughs> <laughs> just trying to be as horrible as i possibly can right now you don't have to try i don't think you're trying actually oh i don't need to try you're right <laughs> it comes angel naturally academy. yeah, yeah. angel taggings the angel academy focuses more on refining models uh then they forget about the structure yes you're right from what i've seen yeah, and I think Caesar Santos is an excellent example of somebody who doesn't do that. I, I've always liked the thing I like about his work is that it has that subtle structure and it has this, the that quality. It's not it's not anything like that. You would think, I, yeah. So they obviously, I'm sure that, and and again, this was 15 years ago, and a lot changes in that time. And it really depends not just on the on Johnny Angel, but on the instructors who are there. Because um, there were people at the Florence Academy, like students who would um, would would over model or anything, something like that. And they might teach that, you know, teach some bad things. But overall, when I was at the Academy, that wasn't as prevalent. And if, if I saw that, I was quick to dismiss it because I, I knew not to do that. So. What do you mean by refining people. models? Okay, so like refining, you can refine something, but over modeling is when you essentially um, like lose the structure within the figure, within the contour, right? So if you're mm -hmm. looking at somebody's chest, okay, mm -hmm. straight on. Um, really what turns the form and makes the form and creates the anatomy are light values and shapes the shapes are specific shapes they they have a degree of subtlety to them they're essentially planes right three-dimensional planes right. if you were to sculpturalize the form mm -hmm. and those shapes have a certain shape and they also have a certain line edge around them whether it's soft or sharp this is subtlety of form. Um, people who over model, they lose the six just, pack abs. They'll just generalize. It. Yeah, the, well, yeah, you can have that's a more dramatic sense. But even just looking at, say, like um, a peck or some, uh, uh, something that's like doesn't look like it has a lot of form on it, mm -hmm. there's still individual structures on there that, that create, like, if you were to kind of do a window and look through it, like, you know, kind of block out everything around just look through a tiny hole you'd be able to tell that that shape is has form to it um people who over model dismiss those shapes and just go off the overall feel and like mm -hmm. really f make it fuzzy yeah and in turn it looks plasticky and gumby and over model and generalized and sometimes when things are overworked like that that's how it looks or sometimes they just like the values are off they're too dark or too light or too much of contrast that doesn't make sense so that's kind of what he's talking about. That's refining. It's like too smoothed out. Right. It's too smoothed out. It looks <laughs> fake. Right. Um, <coughs> Shane Wolf, who is an alumni of the um, Angel Academy, he was beautiful student work. You are finding miles in the form without losing structure. Yeah. And there's there's some really good people. Like both schools are just excellent. Yeah. Tag, see, tagging thing is 17 like i was learning this stuff at 21 22 he's 17 and he, he's doing it without the help of well you know this generation has it a lot easier i mean i don't want to dump downplay taggy's you know talents obviously talent and skill and curiosity but there's a lot more information and resources nowadays and you that know, is true than there used that is, to be you're, now you, you can learn absolutely. florence of art stuff from Lewis, you don't have to go to Florence. <laughs> you 
you, know? you are correct about that. That is correct. We so. like because back then, like we, not only that, people did not know about the Florence Academy of Art. Mm -hmm. Like when I went, it was not well known. Like no, I, I was in Florence for a year before I found it, and I was looking for schools. I was looking hard for schools. Wow. So, so it wasn't yeah. like you weren't seeing ads everywhere popping up and you're like, oh, no. my, my goal one day is to go. Oh. To... <laughs> no, no way. It was not like that. I mean, I, I looked up, I looked up fine art. I looked up all these things and the Academy never came up when I, when I would, uh, you know, search it. I think huh. we had Google. I think Google was around then. I'm not sure, but I, I remember looking, finding the, the, um, the Lorenzo de Medici School of Art that came up before the Florence Academy and it wasn't until I was over there like the only reason why I went was because mom took one of my drawings that I did in high school and she went to Kinko's mm -hmm. like you know the copying place and, and that she was going to, to do a copy of the drawing and uh, when she got there she ran she randomly had to run into a physical person Charles Kapsner, uh -huh. who trained with Daniel Graves. Like, this is in North Carolina, Winston-Salem. How does that happen? Like, if she never ran into him, I might not have gone. Uh -huh. She literally ran into a person who, who looked at the work and said, your son is over, like, she, he started talking. Mom said, yeah, he's over in Florence training at the uh, Lorenzo de Medici School. He says, he should go to the Florence Academy of Art. <gasps> And she, he gave mom the information, and that's how we found the school. Nice. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Now, that school, if you look it up, you can find it easily, which is good. That is how it should be. Yeah. Block and stage, and then put values in mile. Exactly, tagging. Yes. Everything builds from there. You get the work on the foundation, the fundamentals. That's why I'm constantly going back to the basics when I come, come on stream. Claudarius. So Oof. Rob said he never knew what over modeling meant. I thought Tegan was already at the grade school. To be at his level self taught is amazing. Clap clap. I, yeah. Yeah. And he's he's not at a great school, I don't think. I mean it might be better than what I had. It seems like they're doing better than definitely it was better than my high school, but he, it's he's beyond I think where um, tagging your portraits look like humans made of rubber that's not entirely true but I know <laughs> sometimes but he sees it and he's going to change that Calder said uh, that we need to figure out how to share to like co uh, synchronize Post the chat Oh, that chat. Did yeah, he leave me? Chatting. Is he over at your place now? I think he's at his house and he probably has two windows up, so he's running. <laughs> oh, chat. I see. Oh. That is, that is one thing. I could put. Um, I bet you I could put my chat up, but that wouldn't help because like, I, I don't know how you do that. If you, you know what? I'll look into that. I bet you there is a way. I bet there's some add-on or app or something you can you can combine the chats and streams with. Hmm. I bet you there is. I'll look into that. Okay, I need to focus on this. Focus. You talk. I talk too much. <laughs> no. Oh, <that's> cool. <laughs> Despite what uh, you think, I actually do value your to a, an ex certain extent. Your, uh, <laughs> Was that a, a moment of thoughts. introspection followed by a moment of weakness, <laughs> which you will never admit <laughs> because because I didn't record it. You focus on your work, Louis. I can entertain by myself. Have a good day, sir. Were you talking? <laughs> Did you say something? Sorry, I was, I was focusing on uh, things much men. Uh, no worries. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, don't yeah. worry. Quelder is at both. Did Lewis attend the school at the same time as Scott Waddell? Uh, he, he was there, yeah, yes. Um, but <laughs> I was in the second or third year, and he was only there for like a trimester or something, he wasn't there that long. 
and I don't I don't really remember him, but I know I saw him there, and I was I might have been teaching in the building at the time, <clears throat> maybe. And he's an example of somebody who um, just thinks differently. He learns differently, right? That school did not work for him. He actually put out a video. Um, frankly bashing the academy and a lot of the people there uh which i found funny like <laughs> really funny i i actually wrote him and, and said that was a very good video <laughs> i don't know who and scott waddell is he is a youtuber and artist and he he really he 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 does he refines i think he he, he really works he, it's it's kind of a He has very smooth paintings, let's put it that mm -hmm. way. Very smooth. He likes the Barbie and the cans yeah. of the model world. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, we can't all. <laughs> and some of us don't, like good old Eeyore used to say. Right. But anyway. Yeah, Scott, he's he's a very good artist. <laughs> And he had a different experience than, than I did with it. He did not, it did not fit in well with them. Hmm. It wasn't what he was looking for, which is, uh, you know, that happens. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's a little bit different. And, uh, but his impressions of um, Daniel Graves and, and Rivera Sanchez, who, both of whom I love, they weren't necessarily flattering, but I could see what he was saying with them. And um, it was, but they were funny, you know, to me, it was funny. It was, it was fun hearing him talk about the people that I knew and it wasn't all bad. It was just, Scott has a very funny personality. He's very frank and I respect people who aren't afraid to say something, but I will say I don't think it's good to talk shit like about people that's the one thing but i like his personality and he was kind of talking some shit but <laughs> but he was he was it was more it was obvious he was struggling with talking he didn't want to talk shit but he wanted to do his experience and, and a frustration and he was just trying to be honest about it so he he was walking a fine line there but <laughs> i'm not one of these people who's like you can't say that if you want to say it say it you know, I just, I'm, you know, I don't want to say anything poorly about anybody, um, except, except, you know, everybody that I don't like. <clears throat> All right, standing back. Which one method of the... <sighs> Scott's awesome. Yeah, Scott's awesome. Hello, everyone. I will be listening. Hammy and lurking at the most part. Hammy, you understand, and obviously, you know, Laura is on because she checks this way. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, he's sarcastic. Tagging put it very well. He didn't mean any harm. He's sarcastic. He is. And that's what, like, he has a very funny personality. He's, the guy's hilarious. Hmm. Never heard of him. Wonder how come this is the first time I've heard of him. Well, it's, it's, it's along the, the classical, right? Like, it's more classical work or, or more you know it's academic style that's kind right. of the category he falls under that's a bit over my head isn't it and it <laughs> it might not be what you're looking for in youtube like i know him because essentially youtube i i don't remember him from the, the academy though i know i saw him because i know when he came in and i remember that mm -hmm. and there were there was a group of people i remember that came in and um and he was friends with with uh, Jordan, you know, Sekel, Sekel, who I was friends with at the time as well. And he came in with him, and I remember that. And I remember that group. And um, oh man, it's just you know, all these guys, all of them, all of them are good. All of them are good. All right. 
I like the cool thing is that there's a lot of variation. In it. What what's amazing to me is that with the very fine this classical to academic art. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. You're right. Yeah, tagging. I talked shit about them. Um. But um. I, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I was saying that it's really cool how you can see, like, you're you're trained academically, but everybody's work still looks different. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And that's normal though. When yeah. you're in a class, you know, when I'm sure that something you experience with your students, you're the teacher explaining the same words and everybody kind of interprets it their own way. And at the end, everybody produces a similar result, but it's not exact by any stretch of the imagination. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. I think you're right. It's just funny how that works if you think about it, because it's like you think that if they teach you how to get the proportions correct and the colors and all this, that they'd all look the same. And to a degree, they do. Um, it's still a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, some people are a little looser, some are a little, you know, more exact and tight and kind of squarish. Yeah. yeah it depends on everybody's experience of life, I, I guess. Well, I mostly work with older people, like 40s, 50s. Uh -huh. I don't know if I have any 60 year old, maybe, but you can definitely see how much more kind of rigid in their ways they are. <laughs> yeah. Probably when you're young, you're so much more dirigible. Do you know yeah. that word, Louis? Oh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> dirigible means uh, when you drink the beer, it makes you more flexible. So it means flexible. <laughs> because beer makes you loose and you can do whatever the hell you want with no consequences. That's what I have found in my life. Uh, if ever I do something stupid, I just say, I was look, I was drunk. I had a bad day and they're like okay that's fine just don't do it again wink wink okay <laughs> double wink mm -hmm. every right. time mm -hmm. then answer your question sure okay good of course <laughs> yeah youtube is a school man i'm telling you we didn't have youtube back in the day back in my day <laughs> oh, That bullshit school that I'm wasting time on. <laughs> yeah. Tag in. Not that bullshit school I'm wasting time on. That's not my school. <laughs> it is kind of a waste of time. Russian pranzel strokes will be different. This is Hammy. Different person to person, just like their handwriting, even if they are trained the same. I wonder about that because uh, John Stevens is a very well known calligrapher who literally works right there, like right beside me. And he does calligraphy. I'm wondering what he thinks about that. Like, I agree with you, Hammy. I'm kind of being a, I'm not trying to be a smart ass. <laughs> um, I'm just a smart person with a ass. A great, great ass, a great <clears throat> ass. Uh, that's how I identify my, I don't know how my face, face looks. I know how my ass looks and that's how I identify myself. Um, but as your ass. I was just, huh? You identify <laughs> yourself as your ass. Yeah. Great. Just so we know no. where you all stand. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, when, when you finish that school, Jinjin, soon. It's my final year. Soon. That's what he says, Kodar. Jinjin. And then, Kodar's asking him. And then he takes over the world, Kodar. Dude, I am painting so stupid right now. All right, I'm going to try to enlarge this a little bit. Didn't work. Larger than it is. Louder, keep talking. The man is thinking. Huh, huh, huh. I'll talk when I feel like talking, Louis. Where are the arrow slits going to be in your castle? <laughs> The arrow slits? Yeah. 
You're doing, you said several times that you're painting a castle. Uh huh. And there's going to be orcs being shot at at the bottom. Uh, you need some uh, naked chicks, topless, of course, hanging out the windows. Uh, because, you know, to contrast the manliness of the knights that are going to be shooting arrows out. Actually, I might use that uh, reference photo uh, of, of you when I drew you as an orc. That, I think that would be perfect. I think that would be great, actually. I'm all for that. Yeah. Dude, I hope you... Tagging's talking about what he's going to do later as I'm not painting. And he wants to get into Florence Academy, but he just doesn't have the funds for it right now, which is why I was going to say I hope he gets a scholarship or something at some point to go there, because if anybody... like. I'm going to keep on trying to vouch for him. Like, I spoke to the school about him. Oh. And they're aware of him now because he was one of the finalists. Oh, and how awesome. The, yeah, so I really hope that he gets in. He, he he should get in because if he gets in, he's he's going to be... Um, I think either way, he's going to be really good. So he applied be, already. Um, no, I don't think he's applied yet. I don't think he has the money for it. Oh. I thought you were yeah. talking about finalists and stuff. So he had applied to a competition. Uh huh. Right, and he he was one of the finalists in oh, the competition. I see. Yeah. And don't they do some sort of grants or something? They do, and that's why it's good that he did that because now uh, he's on the radar, mm. and um, hopefully, you know, they're aware of him now, which cool. is a good thing. I think he should have won. I saw the work that was chosen. I saw his work, and I think he should have won. Um, I'm gonna spend another three years working. Um, yeah, and the, I'm not too worried about it because he has a very good mentality. Mm -hmm. He knows what to study. And again, like we were saying, there's some solid stuff out there. And I will always teach that as well. I will always teach this stuff. And then that got darker, so I'm going to take this darker part and kind of lighten this just a little bit here. It's going to be darker than that. Should be able to bring that up. Ah, oh, louder. Ha! Huh. That it's was the first. Back. Yeah, that was the first video you uh, Rob saw of you uh, repainting your my orc picture. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> That's Apparently. a funny one to do. That's a good one. That's funny. Hey, Clara. Yeah. Hi. She's on my stream, Louis. Mine. Good. I don't want her on my stream. She probably she, watches she, like, both. <laughs> terrorizes. Mm, that's some good tea, actually. Rose, rose tea. You know what? I should have put in, should have put in my stars before doing this. But I didn't put. Actually, I didn't put in the stars because the paint was still wet. It's okay. If I get stars in my tent, I'll just repaint over it. It's not a big deal. I generally do an underpainting and then put another layer on top. It depends, because sometimes these, some paints are actually quite thick and pigmented, so I don't need to do a second layer, but you never can uh -huh. tell. Uh -huh. Am I boring, Louis? No, mm. no. I was just flashing my eyes back and forth. <laughs> you're saying you don't need to do another layer because it's painted on thickly at first. Right, <laughs> you're paying attention. Yeah, I listen to you. Right. It makes sense. Right. And you're painting with acrylic, right? That's acrylic? Yep. That's really Mural, cool. Thank cool. you. Mural paint. You have, hmm? you have an idea. Wait a second. What's that skull right beside you? Is that you painted a, a mural of that like, wall right beside you there? What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah. I have a door. Hang on. Pretty I'll, sweet. Yeah, I have a painted door, actually. Don't you know my whole house is painted? Oh, great. She's here, too. <laughs> Claire is here. <laughs> It's, I say tagging and tagging and Clara tagging. It's, medie it's medieval culture is dope. Are you um, looking, Louis? Are you, oh, you're talking about, oh, 
He says he loves Romania. <laughs> oh. Thank and he's you. saying the medieval culture is dope. I haven't looked in the medieval culture. I always think, obviously, there's like vampires and stuff. Which look, Louis, are you looking? I'm showing you the the door. You see it? It's oh like wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 show me. Okay, yeah, I see it. Wait a second, I see it. Yeah. Uh, I painted this skull a long time ago. It's not very good, but uh, you know, I've done better skull since, so that's good. There's a there's the real one. Wait a second. What the hell is this thing? Are you looking, Louis? Yeah, I am looking. That's the cabinet of curiosities. This That's is awesome. Sam's mask. We have Rorschach mask. We have a lot of cool stuff in there. So yeah. there's gonna be this uh, 3D painted sign. Hang on. Ugh. Yeah. It says Curiosité Fantastique. That's gonna go up, up there. And then we're That's gonna really have, cool. We're gonna have our carnival on that wall. You know what I just noticed? No, what's that? What's funny <laughs> is that I am now looking like I'm. I I just noticed that since you have my screen up, yeah, it's like one of those infinite windows, you know? Because like I can see <laughs> in my stream your stream, but in my stream and then in that my stream your stream and then so on and so forth all the way down. Huh. Did you notice that? I don't notice that, no. On OBS? No, the actual stream itself. Oh, I see. That's yeah. so neat. Oh. That is pretty sweet, actually. It's like an infinite fractal. It was like that before, but for some reason I just didn't put it together. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty sweet, yeah. So what's Clara saying? <laughs> Says I, it's a combined stream. I've, hmm? I banned her. I banned her immediately when she popped up. So I, I don't know. She might be saying, "Why did you ban me?" This and that. But um, an auto message came <laughs> up that says, "You're a bitch." That I. It was actually the first option it gave me, and so I just have that coming up every time she asks why she was banned. That message will come up. Mm -hmm. Flash on her screen a couple times, so uh -huh. I don't know what she's saying. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. She's not saying anything. <laughs> Jamie says that she's now in both streams, and Clara said that you should keep it's making like roasting virus. videos. She misses you your can't... roasting videos. Wait, who said? Wait, say that again. Clara. Uh huh. <sighs> says that say? you should be making more roasting videos. They're very catchy. People want. You know what? You're, you're right. I, I. So for the last two months, I, I've like I got backed up a lot for various reasons. I won't get into, but it's not important. But I do want to do that. I just um, maybe I should do that. Maybe that should be the next one I do. Yeah. I tell you what. I tell you what. Mm -hmm. Rob wanted this. Um, Rob and whoever else, um, burn my ass to the ground in <laughs> Discord. If you have something you want me to roast you about, send it to me. And I'll put a video together about it, okay? Cool. <laughs> Claire's challenging me. You can't ban me, not because I'm a mod, but because I'm pretty sure you don't know how to ban people. <laughs> I, I do know. Actually. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm so know. stoked. I'm oh. chuffed that this is working. So what? Ch chuffed. <laughs> what does that mean, chuffed? Chuffed, you know, was the British chuffed? way of saying you're stoked. Oh, stoked. That, uh, what, the double stream is working type of thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's Because I always had trouble with Discord and stuff. And now it's working. It's working now. That's why I was... Sometimes it has to do with stupid updates. That's my point. Like, every time there's an update, some weird stuff happens that's why i get nervous when that mm -hmm. they update right but yeah. so, it is because before it would just stop working and we'd have to go into general right yeah it did do some sort of update and while i was testing it it was hearing me and then not hearing me and then hear me and then not hearing me i'm like oh this is not gonna oh. work and lo and behold yeah yay. It's working out good. <clears throat> Wait, somebody said something. Yeah, Rob says that uh, 
do Rob's roast. He said he's gonna put his paintings in burn my ass. <laughs> okay. And do Clara that. says you can do another of hers if you need more material. I will. And to yeah. also keep the tradition of roasting all her pieces. Maybe someday you'll actually hurt her feelings. <laughs> my intention's not to hurt her feelings, just to destroy her. With what? With lasers? No, with my supreme intellect. My main weapon. Huh. I have a lot of weapons under my arsenal. Um, I'm a very noble creature. Uh -huh. And very diverse. Uh, oh. I know how to do many things. <laughs> and I definitely can paint mouths. Especially that Cupid's bow, right? Are you working on the Cupid's bow right now? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to go back to Rose's painting so you can paint her Cupid's bow. Rose seems... is, like I said, an evil cartoon character. She seems very, she seemed very hurt and offended that you didn't pay enough attention to her. Mouth. She seemed what? You cut out for a second. Offended that you didn't pay she... enough attention to her mouth when you painted her? Oh yeah, she has the weirdest hang-ups <laughs> that don't make any sense at all, and it's very entertaining. Which you don't, of course. I have... I'm a specimen. <laughs> okay. I mean... <laughs> I can talk Maybe about roast... specimens. Cross eyes. You know what, Clara? Nobody likes you. <laughs> so mean. She said, I'm doing a good job of capturing the cross eyes. I, it actually, the impression looks very weird right now. Yeah, she's coming along really well, Lois. This <laughs> is not my finest painting, but that's okay. The stuff I'm more focused on just improving things within myself so i'm taking my time with it but it's a little bit tricky brush work so, hammy yeah i'll i'll roast you i'm gonna roast clara i know it's a compliment thank you clara what did she say? There's a lot of things I want to make videos on. I can't. What do you want to make videos of? Not just doing a painting and making a video on it. I want to do videos on subjects like, like Rob was asking the other day about what getting the impression means and there's a lot of videos on that but mm -hmm. i gave him a, an explanation i think that's very beneficial for a lot of people right okay this is i'm just gonna have to wait to build the template okay let's music on your stream, Lewis? I do have music on my stream. Huh. Do you hear my music? No, and the reason why I don't is because um, I have your stream up, but I have it on mute, and I have the um, output source. I think it's the output source, like, or the, of, of the actual computer, like that. Um, it's essentially whatever I can hear in my headset. Actually, so I think I this have... is what I have too. Yeah, I can't hear yeah. the music either. Good, good. Because that would, if you could... That wouldn't be right, because then both of our viewers would hear double music. 
But it's not yours, a because they're not. You would be here. Can you hear music of your stream in your headset? Yes. See, and if you don't want to hear music from mine, no. and that's why that's right. why I have it set up this way. Yeah. Um. Which reminds me of those pre-Raphaelite pre -Raphaelite ladies. I can see that. <laughs> she kind of has that, that look to her. <laughs> you know see, what I need to do? I, I want Louis. I don't know what kind of music you're listening to or you're playing, but Clara uh, and Quelder are listening to my music. <laughs> oh, good. I'm playing uh, definitely not any nerdy music. Definitely not Warcraft music. <laughs> definitely not. No. <laughs> This is something I should have done a while ago. Which is surprising, because Clara and Calder are both like that kind of music. I thought the epic doo -doo -doo -doom. Yeah, they do. This. This I should have done before. All right. I love the fantasy type music, though. I really do. Cool. All right, time for stars. Let's put some stars in. All right, so to kind of recap, I hope that you guys are seeing. I'm just going to talk about what I did so far. Um, did kind of like a um, ombre effect. <laughs> kind of like a wash of dark on the top and then bluish and then coming down. It's kind of purpley on light. And then the tent, the far, the biggest tent that's on the right, that's going to be in the background, but it's also the biggest one. So it's still going to be higher than this close-up one. And the stripes for that are red, but as it's night, they're, they're dark a little bit. So I put some blue and black in there to darken it. I think I put a very touch of white, but very little. And now I'm gonna grab a stiff brush and I'm gonna put some stars in. Get it all wet and get some white paint with water, lots and lots of water. And I'm gonna flick it and hope that I won't get myself flicked. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> I like the lo-fi music uh -oh. too. Um, oh, and Insta Sky, it's always so cool when that happens. You ever make stars, Louis, in your paintings? Uh, you know, paint I've done a, like I've a, done a full, yeah. night sky. Do yeah, you do I've the flick it. method? Oh, nice. Um, I think I did that once or twice. Um, it depends on. I did that. Yeah, I did that with one. One painting I did a long time ago. It's just you got to have a big enough brush and you got to do it so it doesn't look like you're doing it in lines. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a great way to get. I got, oil all over myself in a second here. Alright. <sighs> Alright. That is Rosie here the eyes for the eyes. Yeah, you're right, Tagging, you're right about that. She actually she's modeled for me quite quite a few times. <laughs> um, Thanks Rob. She always wants well she always wants to model naked and I said no look Protect your clothes on every day. I know you're nudist. I, yeah, Rose, and she's you know, you know, uh, always ha walking around with her butt crack showing. And I said, look, you know, even though we're in North Carolina, you know, you have a bunch of women, uh, you know, walking around named, uh, uh, you know, weird, uh, like Tiffany or freaking, you know, they always have their yoga pants on. Uh -huh. You know, you should hold yourself to a higher standard, you know? Really? Yeah, lots of Britneys. Britneys? It's North Carolina. That mouth is atrocious. Let's see what's wrong with the dog. <laughs> uh, 
Lara, do you lift? Do you lift weights? No, Tagging not assassin. anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore? Yeah. I'm talking about not anymore. Well, w back in, I don't know, like 10 years, not 10 years ago, maybe like 8 years ago, my husband and I used to go to LA Fitness. We used to go to the gym. And uh, I did lift a little bit, but not like serious, you know, just, you know, chilling. But I do work out though. You don't need weights to get ripped. You don't need weights. You can just work out with your body weight and you can still acquire these guns. <laughs> he, he, uh, he was saying you look buff. Oh, thank you. I am buff. You do? Yeah, I you're am. strong. Like <laughs> those forearms. I work out. Those legs, man. Tough. Stop looking at my legs. You can't not notice them. It's, it's half your body right now. And you're standing on a stool. I know. I work out uh, in Supernatural. You know the VR headset? I gained a lot of muscle with that program. Like, my muscles are so much more defined and, and you know, tough. Supernatural yeah. VR in the Oculus headset. It's so much fun. It's like the only... Her forearms are bigger than mine. I Wait think a second. So. They are bigger than mine. I think they are. I mean, some of these not, things are not something I'm proud of. Sometimes when I look in the mirror and I'm like, maybe I'll wear a dress today and I'll put it on like, no, maybe not. <laughs> it's a strong woman with a W or with a U. Uh, what was I doing? I need woman? to. Really? Oh, I know. Wait, what was I doing? I put that down. Oh, because I wanted to. I'm having trouble with reflection. I might have to adjust this camera. Like, give me a second here. I hate doing this because the stream, it kind of makes it more shortened, but I need to tilt this down because the problem with oil paint and sometimes like depending where I'm painting, I can't see the brush strokes because of the, um, the reflection. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that looks. That still looks okay. But I'm going to try to make sure it's okay. So you're going to lose my main picture really quick. I'll, I'll get it right back up. Give me one second here. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, let's zoom in. So... Yeah, I can get it a little bit better than that. There we go. That's better. Set. There you go. Make sure y'all have good quality stream. You're so thoughtful. Oh, I know I am. Just one of my many glorious t uh, traits. So do you lift weights, Lewis? Um, not... I, I, I do dumbbells right now and lots of basement workouts. Mm -hmm. um, I don't go... I used to go to LA Fitness as well, but when the lockdown happened, I stopped. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to really go back nah. and do that stuff because I'm, I'm actually in pretty good shape. The only problem is I have some bad tendonitis or rather I don't know if it's tendonitis it's, it's like golfer's elbow here and so like it, I have a hard time doing curls like this I can do the hammer curls like that but I, like pull ups really hurt I might be able to do pull ups but not the chin ups I, mm -hmm. so I have a I'm trying to heal this up I have an injury here and then something else I have something else I forgot what it is though um, yeah, it really sucks. I mean, I had like, I tore my chest, right? Like the first video I ever did, I said this, like I had a torn chest. It was before surgery. So I, I was doing the left-handed videos because I couldn't move my arm. And that really screwed my shoulder up, which is strengthening up. I do lots of hangs to help that. So like, yeah, I just, I just have some injuries. Especially the age of admiring women. <laughs> Those Hamstrings are buff, bigger than Lewis's. Well, you can't tell. That's not fair. <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> I'm not going to show you because I think you're right. <laughs> I don't like this, Laura. <laughs> I didn't start it. It was your there's, fan. <laughs> there's, there's a clear contrast between you and me in this. And it's obvious you're in better shape than I am. <laughs> And it's really bothering me. <laughs> it's that Romanian blood. There's nothing anyone can Bullshit. do. <laughs> Sorry, guys.
guys. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here. All right. Got it. We're back. Claire doesn't skip leg day. <laughs> what? Like you do. You mean Laura doesn't skip leg day? <laughs> I don't skip leg day. I do two leg days. <laughs> you want to see something? Look, look at this. How much louder huh. I need to get my reputation back of, of just being like badass okay and sexy mm -hmm. the sexy part remains but badass all right here's what we're gonna look definitely skip leg day yeah you do look what we're gonna do mm -hmm. can you do a one-legged squat right now I and don't know are you able are you able to do it I haven't done squats in forever uh, I'll try all right, I want to see you do it, but just warm up first. I don't want you to like blow your knee out on the stream or something. <laughs> How many do you want me to do? I don't know. Yes, I, I can know. do one-legged squats. You're, that doesn't count. What? What do you Wait. mean? Wait, I'm not watching it. Maybe the stream's behind. Hang on, Let, right now, right now. I'm getting off the ladder. Okay. Are you going to do the pistol squats? I don't know what those are. You put your leg out and then go down. Okay. I'm gonna hurt myself with this. I need some space. God, this is a live stream, guys. It's not. I mean, it's an art live stream. It's not a workout. Three. It's not a competition. Four. Are you kidding me? You did four. I stopped because I got bored. All right, she did four. Okay, Put I'll do out? the pistols. Okay, okay. The leg is out. Hang on, I've never done this before. Wait, you just tired yourself out. Let me I'm do it. I'm doing it with the other leg. What leg is your best leg? <laughs> the right one. I did some, but I pulled my right. I pulled the other. <laughs> the, the you pulled, straight you leg. pulled a muscle? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not weak. Wait, did you do the pistol squats? Yes, with the leg in front. Yeah. Yeah, I did a couple. How many did you do? About three. Until I got three? the cramp in my straight leg. my backfire okay i'm gonna try to do some but i have to take my <laughs> headset off <laughs> all right okay let me, let me put the, this the group will be able to hear me give me a second we're gonna face this down <laughs> i think i got that please don't hurt yourself i know wait i'm taking this off for a second you can't hear me but they can hear me okay i'm taking it off and i'm gonna try to do them mm-hmm It's so weird. The first lag is in my stream and then and then in your stream it's even more lag. It's like very weird. Okay, we're we're seeing you. Did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lag. I did three. I did three. You did three? I did three. Awesome. Hang on. We haven't seen them yet. Hang on. Now you're you're shaking your legs. One, two, three. Nice. Good for you. <laughs> Great. What? That's it. It's obviously, it's obvious you're stronger than me. It's pretty funny, actually. Well, good. At least I'm still in the game. All right. There what you else go. you got, Laura? Huh? I don't, I don't have anything. It uh, doesn't. It's not for ego. It's not for ego. I don't have an ego like that. No. <laughs> Hammy, stop. See, the problem is I now have Ultra Beast in the stream. That is problematic. That is Hammy and Clara combined into one Pokemon Terror. <laughs> yeah, this isn't an art stream. I should be streaming this. I always hit the camera. <laughs> well, there says Laura's were better. <laughs> Damn you! 
He's just being kind. It's always good to be kind. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I taught you nothing. <laughs> Damn. noble music here and I lose a freaking competition <laughs> to a, a weakling woman <laughs> with a small brain. It's so humiliating. <laughs> so humiliating. <sighs> I think we bo both lost a bunch of subscribers just now. <laughs> I mean throughout throughout <laughs> and, and whenever they catch up they're like ooh Laura just streamed let's see oh <laughs> oh 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 <laughs> we're like it's so glad we got this working it's great <laughs> yeah look don't feel bad everybody feels weak around me it's not my fault it's not my fault, I, I promise you. It's not my fault, I'm just like, I'm just natural. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was born this way. <laughs> it's Tagging's fault, he started this. <laughs> it's right, it's your I'm fan who, who wants to put you to shame. Tagging, you're 17. You'll fit when you fill out, man. If you exercise, you'll you'll be fine. You have plenty of time. It took me a while to fill out too. Yeah. You know, it wasn't until I was six years old that I got jacked. Five, four, five. I was working on it. it took me a while. And uh, but you know, eventually it came. You just have to eat right, eat healthy, exercise, um, and just be badass in general, and you'll get it. Okay, you'll get it. So Clara asked if I ever done a rope course. I still have not. And yes, you've asked me before and I said, yo, that would be so fun. I think it would be so fun. I think, have you guys looked, watched Ninja Warrior? <laughs> have you ever seen that competition where they do these uh, insane rope courses? Oh, they're so addicting to watch. That, that is fun. I agree. That's fun. I would do, I would totally go to a Ninja Warrior contest. I mean, <laughs> those are cool. some of those people are really, and the they're, courses are insane, insane, but I'd be interested to see, you know, how, how I do. And they take that serious too, you know, because it's like, you win money. Um, well, you win money, but like some of those guys that are, I'm sure actually most of them have actual courses at home that they've built right, and they train with. Right, right. <clears throat> Oh, Clara, uh, another constant question that you ask. We've watched everything everywhere all at once. Yes, <laughs> she, just wa she just asked it. Yes, we did. We watched it like a week or two ago. It was fun, very, very intense movie, very intense. Which one was it? Everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, what's, what's it about? Uh, <laughs> it's about life choices and and uh, possibilities of how you can see life and what you can do and uh, I mean it's got a little bit of humor it's got a little bit of introspection like and it's got like sci-fi stuff and a lot of oh, cool um, action and yeah. it goes very fast like there's i think they could have done with less uh, right um with less you know like fast moving imagery i think gotcha. it was very very fast i think they could have done with less special effects uh -huh. and they would still have uh, achieved their their goal but it was interesting <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Really cool. Really cool. It's about everything, Clara says. <laughs> My god, that guy looked so much like uh what's his name? Jackie Chan. Every every single time I'm like, is that Jackie Chan? Did he it, it looked like a 
a younger version of Jackie Chan, but it wasn't Jackie it really, Chan. Yeah. Was it not? No, because I think Jackie Chan is quite old right now. Yeah, he's, he's gotten older. I don't know what it is. It's like, it, it feels like within the last five years, everybody's gotten old <laughs> to me. Like, because I think they're all breaking their 50s and some of them are getting into their 60s now. And it's like, once they break that mark, for movie stars, it seems to me to be like, that's old. Er, older. They're not like old, but you see what I'm saying? Like, there were icons for being a certain age. It seems a lot of them. And, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Oh, I Tom think Cruise that... is kind of one of them. Tom Cruise, though, that guy's amazing, I think. Oh, I'll just unfollow you right now. Say what? <laughs> I'll just unfollow you right now for saying that. Oh, you don't like Tom Cruise? Not really, no. <laughs> Why don't you like him? And I'm not like a huge, huge, like, you know, fan, but I really... He's grown on me recently. Why do I'm... you say that? I mean, I've seen stuff... <sighs> I've seen some clips where he almost changed my mind, but I don't know, like, I don't know the guy well. I just know that he's such a big uh, sensation and everybody's like, ooh, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise. And I, look I at don't Tom like Cruise, that, I agree. And I look at his movies, I'm like, the movies suck and he's not even yeah. that handsome and what's the big idea here? But I have seen a, a clip where he was interviewed about something and he was saying some things that I really liked that he was saying about yeah. I think some sort of mm, drugs and medicines and stuff and like wellness yeah. and I, I'm like well he he actually has a point and he's a decent guy but I'm not oh, pff, Tom Cruise crazy I can see that so like um <laughs> so and he's a bit Tag arrogant. In. He comes across a bit arrogant. It's like, oh, I do my own stance and stuff. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> um, Metiti, I don't know what the Metiti is. So Tagin says, bro, you think pro? You drink protein shakes. Lara eats Romanian kebabs between sets. No wonder <laughs> she's stronger. Those Romanian uh, Metiti are full of protein. Mitite, I don't know what that is. M I T I T. <laughs> Uh, what is that? I've never heard of that. You before. can say Mich as well. M I C I Mich. Um, yeah. Like the re these really good uh, grilled uh, yeah. uh, meat, like ground uh -huh. meat logs. Right. They're very small. You make them on okay. the grill, and uh, they're made in a special way with a special kind of meat. You know, it's like really? por pork and beef, and okay. but you have to put in. Um, it's like bone broth or something, something fattening and you kind of knead it there and you leave it overnight to kind of grow and they're very fatty. Oh, they're so good with mustard. Mm. Dude, it sounds like I should be eating that instead of freaking I, I don't eat I that, do. Gentian. Generally, I, I eat very little, little meat. <laughs> so, um... Getting back to Tom Cruise, right? I, I agree. Like a lot of the movies, it's, the thing is, I, I like a lot of the movies because I like it's a lot of them are brain dead. It's just entertainment. It's not like the next Shakespeare, it seems. But right, um, what I like about him and Scientology, I don't like, but I've I've kind of learned to uh, because of various things kind of look past some of those things because you don't know where people are going to end up. Uh, you know, like one or two things could change a person in regards to that type of stuff, like that a belief system. So, but with uh, he does like he flies planes, he does all sorts of stuff. He's he's an entertainer. He also, um, I don't know his his work mentality. I like all that, but in terms of the movies, I get what you're saying. Yeah, and I'm not like I'm a fan of his, but I'm not like yeah. I, I don't think he's like, you know, the end of all everything. I don't think, frankly, anybody is. Mm -hmm. um, Except but, for you. So, so yeah, I like, I think it goes too far like that. And it's, that's not healthy for anybody. But um, I like the guy. I like him. He's, he's grown on me. I like his mentality, his work mentality. And he's entertaining. He's entertaining. As far as his looks are concerned, he's not a bad looking guy. I, I don't really care either way with that. 
Um, Balkan food is the best. Yeah. Balkan food is the best. Well, I mean, so Scientology, look at uh, Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf, right? Right. He he was going off the rails a couple of years ago, and he kind of like, he's changed his, his life around. And I, I used to find that guy so annoying. Uh-huh. Like, I, I just disliked him so much. Mm-hmm. But then he, he really did a 180, and I was like, you know, that's a huge lesson for me. You don't know where people are going to end up. And so that's yeah. why I'm like, I kind of have a little bit more uh, patience. So that is like Claire, what she says is very valid too, because some of that Scientology stuff to me is uh, frankly insane. Yeah, she says that the point of the movie, everything everywhere all at once is about. Um... Hang on. Uh, the point of the movie is to be overwhelming. That was the part of the experience they were trying to convey. The mother of that movie is the. She was in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. She's really good. It says Tom Cruise looks like he's on crack. <laughs> <laughs> he's on crack. <laughs> I don't know why that just that hit me. That was pretty good, Tagging. Thank you. <laughs> he's straight up. Tagging says what he's like, he just says it. I can see that too. <laughs> you I look at that. a specific picture. I can see that. The thing is, and here's the other thing, it's like you don't know I don't know this man. Right. You know, right. like you know what you've seen and, mm-hmm. and you don't know the person. He you know, yeah. people can be complete assholes in real life. Right. You know. Yeah, let's not be and, all shallow and, and judge people yeah, by their appearance. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Be more accepting. <laughs> as long as that term's not thrown around to be, like, accepting a bunch of bullshit that you know is wrong, but you're trying to be open-minded, which is stupid. Right, right. Don't be so open-minded that your brain falls out. <laughs> Good way of putting it. <laughs> yep. I have an open mind. <laughs> Bullshit. Lewis should know that I rob his humble humble peasants could end up a great artist. Uh, Rob said, <sighs> Lewis should know that I rob, you know, rob. comma, I, comma, rob, comma, uh-huh. his a humble peasant could end up uh-huh. a great artist. Period. LOL. Only, the <laughs> only way that happens is not through working hard. It's not through practice. It's by watching my channel. <laughs> oh my god. I thought... <laughs> the message of every YouTuber. Right? I thought you were going to say, but by washing my dishes, by washing my clothes. <laughs> but by serving me. Doing my laundry. You are correct, Rob. And... All you have to do is essentially work your ass off. Obey. Obey? <laughs> <laughs> Too much? All you have to do is obey. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. <laughs> obey. <laughs> I don't want a large farva. I want a large far- I want a large farva. What? Have you seen Super Troopers 2? No, I wanted to, but Sam's like, well, Super Troopers 1 was so good that... Actually, I did... I think I saw it by myself. But it's I been a while, so... Um, I, I forget. Yeah, I haven't seen it. First one was amazing. Very funny. That's why, you know, when you see something and it's amazing, and then the second version of that something comes out, and I know. You're so excited, it's always a letdown. Oh. Well, they're all older too, and you know. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being older, but sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, you can age. you can make the same old jokes at a later age and still be relevant. Like it's like, right. have you not grown up, dude? Like, come on. It was okay when you were in college, but not anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a way of putting it. Can't get away with being dumb forever. Right. That's a good way of putting it. 
<laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Hang on. Clara disagrees with you. The best way to end up as a great artist is to destroy your enemies. That's been my biggest takeaway watching Lewis's stream. <laughs> there you go. They learn. They learn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rob what? says I would have to destroy more than half the population. Why? <laughs> Why is half the population your enemy? That that uh, can't be right. Well, is that that's that's what I'm uh, promoting here? Destroy half the population. <laughs> Rob takes it like that. It's pretty funny, actually. Destroy them with lasers. Yeah. Slowly building this up. Maybe it's too bright though. I want to kind of compress the values. That might be a little bit too bright. <laughs> Bring this down. <laughs> okay, let's see. And you take uh, creatine, don't you, Lewis? You take some sort of supplements? No, I. You when stop. we had a conversation here yeah. like a year or two ago mm -hmm. and uh, i think who's saying it i think it might have been randall pete. pete yeah and i decided to get off it but the pre-workout drink i think i take might have like a gram of it mm -hmm. maybe but that's going from five to like one mm -hmm. and it's not that's also not why i take that it's just it just so happens to have one in it but no i don't do creatine anymore i don't do that not like that i wasn't doing like a lot to begin with it was just you know because there was there were questions about uh you know your liver or kidney or something right and, um I, I said, well, it's not even worth it. I don't even care. I remember some. So I got, I, in fact, I still have that same bottle, but I haven't used it since. Like, I always do better if I, number one, main thing really for me is sleep. If I sleep, yeah. then I actually get better. But also, um, obviously, just eating food. Right. If you have a juicy brain like Lewis, the ideal brain, this is true Tekken. I saw that before though. I was cracking <laughs> up. Uh, he was, uh, we were talking about, um, I what we were talking about at that point. But... Do that doesn't work. Juicy pain. I was wondering what that video I should do, but like I need to loosen up and be like, do just make a video of this. But every time <laughs> I do, I kind of feel like it needs to be epic, which is like worth it. <laughs> but I like I want to do a video on this one, which is why I want this to be repainting. Mm -hmm. And what I might do too is repaint the one of Rose that I did as a video as well, because I don't like how I painted that one. Yeah, so you I'm didn't do to... her cupid bow. <laughs> Screw the cupid bow. <laughs> I just I did not do a good job painting, but that was partially because of, of my uh, reference photo. Mm -hmm. That was my fault that I took that. It's horrible. But yeah. <laughs> Clara's checking that for you. 
Clara Just says, <laughs> Clara says, I usually opt for not destroying them in particular, but breaking down their sanity. It's still a work in progress with Louis, but I'm making good headway. She's not going to be successful with me. Clara's going to check all. for you whether you did her Cupid bow or not. <laughs> On hers? Don't, Don't listen to Rose. <laughs> Guys. <sighs> that is modeled. That is not looking good. It is America's duty when Lewis dies to freeze his brain for the future, let alone scientific research. Lewis <laughs> Ed and Clara asked, did you uh, decide which tagline you wanted to include for this piece? Um, no, because I wasn't taking that as a serious conversation. I think this is a really good reference photo, even though I'm kind of butchering it right now. I don't know. I think I didn't really give it much thought, to be honest with you. <laughs> huh. That needs to be the title. Have you <laughs> mentioned before that I'm part of a lot of Facebook groups? One of them is called Classic Art Memes. Oh my god, so funny. Really? Like, they're so funny. They pick these these paintings and they, uh -huh. they caption them and what they right. come up with is hilarious. Is it really? Yeah. Really funny. <laughs> maybe some funny maybe I'll things. share them in Discord. You should. You should definitely do that. That'd be funny. <laughs> there was one. I mean, I think this is just kind of like a joke. It's Painter white. asks, you know, are, are you comfortable? Painter asks the model, are you comfortable with nudity? And the... Uh, the model says yes, and then it shows the painter naked. <laughs> the model. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I there was um one of the guys who models for the Florence Academy. He, I'm not sure if he still models, um, but he he was really funny, and I remember he he was making a joke, and he said like because you know he was our friend actually. He started anyway. He was my friend at the academy. And he was modeling and he said yeah you know like i had a dream you know that it was it was a nightmare it was one of those dreams where like i was up there modeling except uh i looked around and everybody everybody was naked <laughs> but i had my clothes on 
so it's like the reverse you know like went to school naked dream yeah so it was pretty funny he said it better than i did just now but he, we started the uh florence academy running team but we spelled it you know like florence with a big f uh -huh. below that academy uh florence academy running team so all you saw was fart in big letters and in small letters you know like you had florence academy running team, like you know right right so that was our poster and we had that up in the front of the school when people like would walk in and visit <laughs> that's what they would see it was a sign saying fart oh. on it so it's pretty funny classic fart like jokes that. and similar yeah it's, 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 i think you should include a tagline to make it a meme i will go it will go viral <laughs> yeah it's yeah. that easy for it to, for things to go viral isn't it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah just make people laugh people just make people Which you're very good at, whether oh, you want it or not. Totally, totally. Darken that. Darken that. I'm change the music in a second because I think the song has been on. It's repeated like three or four times at this point. Have you guys seen, uh, there's a show, I think, might have been on Netflix, um, I don't know if we have Netflix anymore, <clears throat> it doesn't really have much good stuff, but there's a show called Love, Death, Robots. Oh yeah? And uh, Oh yeah. There's an episode that I really, really love. I don't love oh, cool. all of them, most of them are kind of like, hey, but yeah. there's one that I really love, it's a... Uh, it's called Zima Blue. Uh -huh. It's about this robot. Uh, well, it's like a robot guy, uh, and he's he's an artist, and basically it shows his uh, how he was formed and his evolution in art, and then no way. <clears throat> and as then a, his, as a robot. As a robot and then his dissolution it's really such a cool it's like 10 minutes long it's yeah very cool i love it that so actually much. seems really awesome it really is zima blue zima blue Yeah, you remember that, Clara? Yeah, I love that. Um, there's another one that I, I think I've seen it twice. I don't know why I saw it the second time, because this was just as grueling as the first one. The one with the lady in space, uh, the astronaut lady. Oh, that was so difficult to watch. Where is she... Uh... He, she goes out to fix something and she gets stranded from her ship and she can't get back to her ship and then well i'm not gonna say it but it's it's very difficult to it sounds watch. awful it's really awful it sounds horrible she survives but oof, oof. painful get more views do a clickable clickbaits like figure drawing demo to your fat face plus loses me <laughs> it's pretty funny what what uh, uh oh uh oh 
we're having a little bit of an issue with uh, your stream. I don't know if you're you're lagging out or not. Mine? It's saying, yeah, you're saying yours is loading. It might be. I wonder if, if it's my stream. So, hmm. let's see. I'm moving Guys, on how, my screen. My... <laughs> you are? Yeah. It might. I'm wondering if it's my signal to yours. Hmm. Uh, Tagging. Is is my stream okay, Tagging, or is? Wait, uh, you're frozen on mine. Work. You're frozen on mine. Hang on. It, yeah. Oh, I am. Okay. I'm not sure whose stream it is. Oh, like, it if my streams. Error. Oh shit! You know what? Mine might have stopped because it's saying 50 seconds. So it was probably me. Okay, Let me check back. mine really quick. It says it's still streaming. Why did that happen? Huh. The low latency talk. I wonder if my stream actually cut out. This doesn't make sense. I have it plugged in. It shouldn't have done that. And it says it's still streaming. Laura, I think it was my stream because my stream says uh, the session is one minute and 40 seconds, essentially. Huh. So I think it's, it was probably mine. Which doesn't make sense, but... Now, I mean, you're moving. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Since when? My my stream. It was. It happened about two minutes ago. Oh. I, I think my stream must have cut out. So that was on me. But I have it plugged in, so there's nothing more I could have done with that. going for today Lewis I'm sorry what was that how long are you going uh, to stream today for um I don't know uh, maybe shoot, what time is it right now it is two o'clock maybe like another hour or so I, I don't know I'm not gonna kill myself today over this stuff mm -hmm. just trying to get my head back in it <laughs> um, oh and last night I because I streamed in the morning and then I had a Kind of funny so like the meeting was out at the vineyard current alexander vineyard so i got a commission for spring to do which is quite nice i'm very glad about that um, and i also have a potential painting to do a battle scene in world war ii it's quite interesting actually it's still um you know the details is still up in the air but essentially it's for a reception area <laughs> at the vineyard uh -huh. And so the gentleman was telling me what he wanted. His wife was there and um, his wife was rolling her eyes the whole time because <gasps> what he wants is a battle scene, uh -huh. essentially an ak aka gun, which are those like man, those, those long arm, long barreled guns, right? Mm -hmm. That they would shoot down aircrafts and, and shoot down, uh, you know, uh, parachuters and such in World War II. The Germans would use those, shoot them down. They wanted a uh, Norman stone barn, which is a particular type of stone barn. Uh, in Normandy, they have them. And with a glider about to crash into it because um, his wife's stepdad fought in World War II as a... Um, uh, part of the 82nd airborne and so he those guys would essentially fly in behind enemy lines and drop parachuters off 
right mm -hmm. into enemy territory and um so the death rate was just through the roof with the, those guys but so he did that and he survived the war but i think the glider he came in on which he had jumped out of it before ended up crashing into a barn killing the pilot the co-pilot mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so he wants that going down about to crash into the barn you have the Germans shooting the Aka Aka guns up, and you see the parachuters in the background. He wants uh, Saint Mara Inglesia, the 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 Saint uh, Mare, like M E R E, church, which one of the parachuters actually got caught on that the steeple of the of the um of that church. And so they have stained glass windows of of that today. So he wants that kind of in the background and it's going to be a large painting so if we do it because we haven't we there's still details to work out there's still pricing and stuff so i might not do it but that's what he wants um but when i was there his wife it took a long time for her to get there uh -huh. and at the meeting yeah. which is 30 minutes away so i had to wait uh, quite some time and in the meantime i helped him move these really heavy ass planters i mean they were heavy it had just rain, rained and they were like you know full of water still and i was just it was so tiring and i'm used to yard work i was i was dying i was so tired <laughs> change the music i mean he he's paying you right and she uh, oh, does she have uh, like a voice to say is it like if my wife i'll have to talk to my wife about it situation or he's all you know his commission he has the only word um he's respectful to what she says but that is something that he's gonna say like she's not gonna influence that one but he wants a painting of he wants a painting of the house that is on the left okay mm -hmm. and second here he wants a painting of the house that is on the land I'm gonna change something down some Bring this up some I hope that worked give me a second hopefully Laura you're not too loud with this I'm gonna turn this up Sorry, I'm, I'm fiddling with something really cool. It's alright. Okay. And he had his wife come and tell, say what view she wanted. So he, he he has a that's a separate project. So he always includes her with stuff like that, and we'll get her opinion and try to balance it out. Mm -hmm. But the war painting, that's something he's doing. So he's he's just ignoring what she has to say with that. Right. <laughs> and it's. But for me, it's funny because I see her rolling her eyes, and it's just, it's yeah. very typical. <laughs> you know, it's very typical. It's, it's really funny because the, the thing is, is that they're also elderly. Oh. You know, they're right. both in their 80s. And oh. so it's just, it's, I guess it's really cute seeing seeing that, you know. <laughs> Them still together after all of that. I'm sure yeah. that ro eye rolling they're happens really, all the time. <laughs> yeah. They're both awesome people. Quilter oh. says that. Um, Hey, Angel! <laughs> hey, uh, Tyler Star Productions is my good friend Angel. She always comes to my uh, acrylic pouring workshops. Very oh, cool. sweet lady. Uh, Qualder nice. says, Robert Valley made that episode. He has some good stuff on YouTube. Pear, Cider and Cigarettes is autobiographical. Are you talking about the, huh. uh, the episode with uh, Zima Blue or the one with the... Um, um, astronaut and Angel, I'm working on a home um, carnival mural. It's a carnival mural. Muriel. It's for, from a house. From a house. So that when you come and visit next time, there's fresh, fresh stuff for you to see. <laughs> what are you doing today?
<clears throat> the Zima Blue episode. Oh, I have to, I have to check his stuff out. Pear cider and cigarettes. Sounds good. <laughs> Robert Valley. That's cool. That's wrong. <laughs> Thinking of having you do something in my bathroom. Ooh. Cool. What are you thinking? Tuscan Villa at Sunrise. Should have known that it's gonna involve Ooh. sunrises. What? Ooh? Yeah, sorry, I just made a mistake. Keep going. <laughs> I, sorry, I didn't mean to say. I was Angel trying to be I was listening to you. I That's just... okay, no worries. Angel likes the, the color of sunrises and sunsets. It's very cool. Uh, give me a second. The sun kisses the night good morning. <laughs> so romantic, Angel. I love your romantic views on life. Very refreshing. is coming out it's been raining for so long kind of drab it's so muddy here oh such a muddy winter Thank you. 
Oh, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Have a great weekend, too. You're gonna join my Wednesday class. Woo! That's awesome. Uh, it's been a great winter of warm weather and no snow. Oh, <laughs> maybe one day, Clara. One day we'll get together and paint. You're starting a pastel class. Cool. You're going to an art store to pick up supplies. Cool. I look forward to the to the course as well. It's gonna be interesting. I'm doing a a new course this year. I just posted it. Just published it. Uh, yesterday i think i'm gonna have one that focuses on water with the reflections and ripples and uh dew drops and waves it's gonna be fun lewis are you still teaching classes have we lost lewis he's not there I see myself <laughs> moving at different speeds, it's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, I never show the receipt, Clara. Never show the receipt. It's dangerous. I can't do that. Earth supplies are a good reason to not have a joint bank account. <laughs> I think Sam is still here. He's like, what? What? What's that? I am back. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> what have I'm you been my... doing? Huh? What have you been doing? I, well, mom called ah. and uh, so I talked to her and decided since she was talking, I'd just go to the bathroom. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sure did. And then we'll all good. All good. Mute, mute the microphone when you, so she doesn't hear the sounds. Oh wait. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to put mine back on because they they can't hear me. Give me a second. Oh. There we go. There we go. We're good. All right. <laughs> Art supply sneak up on you, right? I buy five small things and end up being like three dollars. Three dollars. <laughs> so pastels are expensive, but such... sneak up on. That was my month's rent. Three bucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> you sell your art so you can spend more money. Yeah. I mean, as soon as I start selling my art, watch out, world. <laughs> you do sell your art. I do. Not really paintings, yeah. but, you know, uh, murals. Yeah, murals, yeah. <laughs> that's that's what, how you do it, though. You know, the thing is that if I would... I don't know, I've got this... Maybe I need to Oof. learn with somebody how to sell art, you know? I've got a hang-up about selling art. I think that's my problem. And I well, don't... it's tricky because it's, it's like what type of art it is, too. Depends on how it sells. And... Yeah broad topic i think maybe uh, i don't know the thing is with art is that i wouldn't price it so high necessarily like the smaller pieces i i would say you know like uh, a couple hundred dollars maybe not even if it's like a small one but and i would sell it for even less if it only takes me a couple hours or so but shipping is so freaking expensive and i have to account for shipping and I'd rather put it in the price rather than put it in the shipping because then people don't want to pay for shipping. You know how it is like psychologically, people would rather pay a, a more expensive item with less shipping than pay for a cheaper item with an expensive shipping. Because then yeah. it feels like your, your product is cheap and the shipping is a lot, but when the product yeah. is expensive, then it must be That's worth more. Right? You are and, correct, yeah. And shipping is, is less, so it's a win-win. So I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I still haven't we'll mastered the art of yeah, selling. I'll just do that. 
I need to take pictures of my, my stuff. You deserve them, Clara. I agree. You deserve art supplies. Does she, though? <laughs> That's fun making fun of Clara. The thing is, Clara can take it, which is why. Oh, yeah. That's why she's fun. If she, if she was offended, it wouldn't be fun. She's incredibly helpful too with her advice. Like she's, cause she markets and she's, yeah. she has that brain. Mm -hmm. She's got the analytical brain and the artistic brain, which is rare to see. But that's it. That's all she has. <laughs> she's got two brains and that's not enough for you. <laughs> I have high standards. Very high standards. It's good to have high standards. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yep, yep. All right. Minky pastels. Yeah. It's so good to have good art supplies. Oh, I love it. Are they like watercolor pastels or oil pastels? They're water, right? Laura, who went to school with a science degree and has an actual scientifically accurate skeleton and paint murals, teaches art for a living, is the biggest example I've seen of science and art. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. I've kind of forgotten a lot of anatomy, unfortunately. I wish I had remembered more. I would have to learn it all over again now. Um, 15 pastels for $70? Wow! Chalk pastels, that's right. That's my uh, my friend Amanda who teaches at the studio, whose studio I teach at. She works mainly in, in uh, chalk pastels. The art that her students come up with, it's really amazing. Oh yeah? Yeah. Who is this? Amanda Layer. Uh, she's my Amanda friend Lair. and I teach at her studio. Oh, cool. Really cool. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she does some really nice... I mean, you can achieve... Some of the art, you don't know whether it's oil or... It looks like oil painting or acrylic painting. It looks really amazing. Does it really? It can. It can. Yeah. <laughs> With a skilled hand, it definitely can. Yeah. And I think it's so much easier to work with than oil and acrylic. Right. It's so much easier. But on the other side, on the other hand, I think it's a lot more mm, like fragile, you know, right. because you could just smudge it, it smudges right off. You have to frame right. it with. I mean, you can do the spray fixative and everything after each layer if you don't want them to blend but then it's best if you display it with a glass frame so that it doesn't smudge and get destroyed but you know that makes sense yeah you can really do some amazing things with that stuff
Hey dog. Hey dog. Ooh. What's up? Uh just complex <laughs> brushwork. That should not be so complex. What's up, Stanley? You gotta go outside? No, you don't need to go outside. I'm painting, dude. Can't you see? I'm busy. Can't go be going outside. No, I didn't say the O word. <laughs> Dog's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go outside. They take whatever words they want and ignore the rest. Yeah. Oops. I think I'll be here for another couple minutes then I am gonna go because uh, yeah. dogs need I'm, to go I'm not out and much more. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, Let's see. Stuff I gotta do outside of this anyway, so <laughs> Yeah, Clara, you've got skills. You got skills. You've been digging watercolors for a long time and and colored pencils. You're doing really good. Like, ooh, I I, I have not used colored pencils so long that I like them. I have not f deciphered how to use colored pencils so that I can make a decent painting. They're difficult, I think, to do something good with them. You really Colored gotta. Pencils. Hmm? Colored pencils? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always laugh what... at colored pencils, but when I see yeah. what other people like Clara and other artists do with them, I'm like, holy moly. Well, that's what uh, Tagian is aiming for, is being a master color pencil artist <laughs> uh, in graphic design. That's, I think, where he's going with this ultimately. Let's see if he's, let's see if he's watching. <laughs> let's see if he's watching. see him at home listening to Bach drinking a glass of wine listening to what I just said and spitting the wine out uh-huh <laughs> or choking with it and it's totally my good his... name what did he reply he Quel... he... No, uh, not yet he and Queldar have like the funniest personalities I think <laughs> <laughs> I hate watercolored pencils. I used to do sketches with them and they never came out. I mean, I think I was using crappy colored pencils and I think that yeah. is very, like, what you use plays a big role in how it's gonna come out. I just could right. never get them to blend and to look yeah. good. And I feel right. like you can't really go back with colored pencils. Well, once you put it down, you can't paint over it. You can't yeah. change it a lot. It's very unforgiving. Kind of like watercolors too. I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. There's one watercolor artist on um, Instagram. I need to find her name, but she's like Chinese or something. I think she's really good. Mm -hmm. Clara, LOL, saying tagging would be master color pencil artist was the best way to piss both him and me off at the same time. Well, don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what makes for someone having a funny personality? Question mark. I double pissed her off. I was just, I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying you don't have a personality. But with them, what makes a funny personality? Intelligence, originality, and just being funny in general. All of which you don't have, Clara. <laughs> I'm so good. Such an asshole. Yeah. Clara, Clara. I think, uh, you know what, Clara, I think Lewis has really taken to, um, you know, uh, reading and listening and watching that movie, uh, How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, and really taken it to, to be his whole dedication, life lifelong dedication. Right, right. Lewis? I didn't, I didn't need to watch that movie to apply that. Uh, it comes innately. It is, exactly. 
I don't have a personality question mark. No. Actually, I think they might have based it off of you. <laughs> Simon Pegg was like, works hmm, I wonder who we can get inspired for doing this movie. Ah, oh, we know, Louis Gidetti. Well, the truth is, is that I always, like, I would, Claire is, no, I'm just kidding, but I always try to get her to play games with me. She's a lot of fun to play with. Like, <laughs> She thinks she sucks, and she does, but like it's fun playing. <laughs> she says that um, the big game changer for her with both color pencils and watercolor was learning which materials of those work. The paper has been everything for pencils. Yeah. Using toned paper was huge. I did like using toned paper a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fun. It makes them glow, especially when you put that white over the top. Yeah, it's really nice. <sighs> Big sigh. Uh oh, that strip did not work. So it's funny, this mural I uh, kind of started with no actual plan and sketch and stuff, but just an idea uh -huh. and some reference photos so it's gonna be gonna develop every single time I'll come to the wall I'll have to I mean, ne next time I hope that I'll have a bit more plan of what I'm going to do next but this is fine for now sometimes what I do is just is like one step at a time and that's enough when you don't have a full plan and then ideas and the plan will come as you go but sometimes you just gotta show up because we've been planning this mural for a long time and <laughs> and Sam keeps prodding me, how about the circus mural, how about the circus mural, when you, I'm like, I have, uh, I have commissions, I have work to do, you know, you don't pay, <laughs> this won't pay the bills and stuff, but, uh, but I figured this will be the perfect thing to do during the stream because I got a stream that anyway and... That looks really cool. Oh, thanks. That's looking cool, yeah. Yeah, it's getting there, it's getting there. Everything will be more refined and I'll add more, a lot more shadows and details and stuff, but yeah. it's all right. I'm actually pleased with the buildup of this painting considering where I'm at right now. It looks good, it looks good. Considering it's, it's you looking got, okay. Yeah, considering you got so point. distracted. It's, yeah, I've kind of been out of it, but it, it's workable and it's all of it's still very wet because it's just this paint does not dry it does not like the white doesn't dry which is driving me crazy actually that's the one thing i don't like about this paint is that the white itself normally white in oil paint dries quick mm -hmm. dries faster than the darks but man that's not the case here hmm. yeah it's nuts absolutely nuts so is that the uh, the arsenic white? I mean the the toxic huh. white? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the lead white, creme oh, lead white. Yeah. Why don't you use a different one? Is that really that much more brilliant than uh, titanium? Uh, it is. What makes I could it use so much titanium better? For it. Yeah. So the reason why I don't like titanium is not because. It's, Stanley. I'm not a fan of the titanium because it, it's so potent, the stuff that I have. It will absorb all of my paint. So, for example, mm. if I want to make something orange, I have to use almost twice the amount of orange. It just eats up all my color. Mm. Stanley, and I feel like it, it it's more expensive. But I like titanium white because it's wider than my criminus white is and so that's good like it would be good for me to use like up in here on the highlights and stuff mm -hmm. if i really wanted to get a, a highlight on it which i am i'm kind of keeping this 
My problem is with the photographs that I have, they're too washed out, which is why you go on for life. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not, so I have to stop complaining about it. But like the chest, for example, is like very white and stuff. It's be easy to make it too washed out. So I have to kind of mute, bring it down some and then pluck the highlight out, which is always is more desirable in my opinion. Anyway, I went off on a tangent there, I think. Anyway, I think I gotta go. I think I gotta take this gotta go. boy out. He needs Tons to go out. 2.30? Okay, to go out I'm gonna stream just a little bit longer, but... Uh, thanks for streaming with me, Laura. Oh, it was so much fun. Thank you, this was That was idea. a lot of fun. Yeah, awesome. we'll do this again. I'll do it whenever. Yeah. But it's nice because I get to... Yeah. I feel like I get to watch yours more, like... Because otherwise, I have to like split my time. But if I'm doing this at the same time, I can watch yours and actually, we can talk and chat. I think yeah. it's more fun too. And we can destroy. I, I enjoy this at the same time. So, yeah, stand I really up. enjoy this. Stand up. Stand up. Pose All right. For the camera. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is Stanley. The old, the young old man. All right, I gotta go, guys. Thank you. For, for hanging out. Let's see who's here. Um, thank you, Quelder and Clara and Rob. <laughs> and if you're still here, Angel and Sam. And uh, I'll see you guys next, uh, next Friday, I think. Maybe, maybe next Friday. Bye, have a great Bye, weekend. Clara. All right, I'm with Laura. Bye, Louis. <laughs> I'll see ya. <laughs> That was fun. For stream to go off there because I'm a little bit of a head, uh,